Dredging is all about scooping up stuff from the seabed, rivers, and lakes using these special ships called dredgers. They're like the superheroes of the water, not only reclaiming land but also making sure ships can sail smoothly by getting rid of shallow areas caused by all that sediment. Now, when it comes to dredgers, there are different types out there, including the biggest and badass ones. Let me tell you about a few of them. First up, we've got the Cutter Suction Dredger, CSD. Picture this, it's a dredger with a rotating cutting head that breaks up hard soil on the seabed. These babies are perfect for reclaiming land in canals or mining sand in deep waters. Take the Spartacus, for example. This massive CSD was built back in 2017 by the Royal IHC Shipyard in the Netherlands. It's a beast, measuring 538 feet long, 112 feet wide, 23 feet high, and weighing a whopping 6,450 tons. With four Wurzela 46DF engines and two Wurzela 20DF engines pumping out a total of 44,181 horsepower, the Spartacus is the strongest CSD you'll find anywhere. And guess what? It's also the very first CSD to have a dual-view L engine powered by good ol' LNG. That means it can dredge as deep as 148 feet below sea level, beating out other CSDs by a cool 33 feet. Now, building a dredger is no small task. It's like putting together a giant puzzle made of steel plates. Once it's assembled and launched, they install things like LNG tanks and the ship's control center, known as the bridge. The bridge is where all the action happens, and it can accommodate a crew of up to 72 people. Then comes the spot carrier and the catenera leader. No, it's not a band, but it's a structure that holds the dredging tool and moves it around during the dredging process. And don't forget the two spots at the back of the ship, which act like fancy moving axes when the CSD ship is doing its thing. Now, because these dredgers are super heavy, they need some serious equipment to handle the weight. Just imagine using cranes that are mind-blowing 722 feet long and 335 feet wide. Those bad boys can carry up to a jaw-dropping 20,000 metric tons. Talk about heavy lifting. So, how does the CSD Spartacus actually work? Well, once it reaches the dredging location, an operator in the ship's cabin takes control. They lower the main spot to the seabed and drop anchors on both sides to keep the ship stable. Once everything's in place, they lower the cutter leader with its cutting tool, and the dredging begins. It's like digging up sand, soil, mud, and rocks from the seabed. When they're done at one spot, they pull the spot back up, move the ship forward to the next location, and repeat the process. They keep going until all the dredging is finished. The crushed material is then sucked up by a pump and sent through a disposal pipe to a designated area. It's a pretty slick operation if you ask me. But that's not all. There are other types of dredgers too. Let's talk about the trailing suction hopper dredger, TSHD. These bad boys are perfect for dredging waterways, building ports, and fixing eroded beaches by replenishing them with sand. One of the big players in the TSHD game is the Scale River. Launched in 2017 by Royal IHC, this ship is no joke. It stretches out to 380 feet in length, 82 feet in width, and weighs a hefty 9,459 tons. And guess what? It runs on LNG too. It's got a hopper that's as big as 90,417 square feet, serving as a storage space for all the dredged material. This baby can dredge down to 197 feet below sea level. So, how does the Scale River get the job done? Well, it's pretty similar to what Spartacus does. Once it reaches the designated location, the ship slows down to a leisurely 2 to 3 knots. They lower the dredging tool to the seabed and connect it to a suction pipe. The material gets dredged up and sucked through the pipe into the hopper on the ship. They keep going until the hopper is filled up. And hey, that dredged material can be reused for all sorts of things like beach reclamation or laying underwater internet cables. 
talk about giving it a second life. All right, let's move on to another dredger type, the backhoe dredger, BHD. These guys are equipped with hydraulic excavators mounted on pontoons and are great for dredging large areas in shallow and enclosed waters. One of the big shots in the BHD world is the Magner, built by the Dutch company Biscalis. This bad boy is equipped with three spots, each 131 feet long, and comes with a powerful Caterpillar 6090 excavator. With a crazy 46 package areas and the ability to handle 40 cubic meters of material, this excavator can lift loads up to 67 tons. The Magner itself is no small fry either, measuring 236 feet in length and 66 feet in width. And it can dredge down to 98 feet deep. Now, the Magner doesn't have its own propulsion system, so it needs a barge to tow it from the harbor to the dredging location. And if the distance is really far, they call in a semi-submersible heavy lift vessel, SSHLV, to do the job. These vessels are like superheroes of the sea, capable of carrying super heavy loads. Operating a BHD is a lot like what Spartacus does. Once they reach the dredging spot, they lower the spots on the backhoe dredger. Then the excavator goes to work, dredging material from the seabed and putting it into a nearby barge. Once the barge is full, they head over to a designated disposal location. And they keep repeating this process until all the dredging is done. And there you have it. That's the lowdown on these powerful dredgers and how they do their thing. Pretty fascinating stuff, isn't it?